Hello and welcome to the Daily Devotional from Christ Church Chorleywood. My name is Mary Alderson and the verse we're looking at today is from the Gospel of Luke chapter 1 verse 30. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. God had sent the angel Gabriel to a small town in Galilee called Nazareth with a personal message for a teenage girl called Mary. The message was that although she was unmarried and a virgin, she would give birth to a baby boy and call him Jesus. He would be a saviour for us all and be the son of the Most High. The first thing that spoke to me about this verse was that God sent his angel to Mary. He didn't wait until she was in the temple or ask her to go somewhere special. He sent his messenger, the angel Gabriel, to her. Nazareth was a small town not known for anything in particular at the time. Mary was an ordinary teenager and she lived in an ordinary house. And I suspect that when the angel arrived, she was doing her daily chores, baking the bread, cleaning the house, washing the clothes. Into this ordinary situation, God came and spoke with a message just for her. And just as God spoke to Mary that day, so he reaches out and speaks to each one of us today. Sometimes we can fall into the trap of thinking that God only speaks to us when we're in church or doing a Bible study or having a quiet time. But he can and does speak to us wherever we are and whatever we're doing. Isn't it incredible to think that God, who created the universe, loves each one of us so much that he's prepared to reach out to us where we are? Now, not many of us will get a visit from an angel this Advent, but God has a personal message for each one of us. So let's be open to listening to his voice. When the angel Gabriel arrived, he greeted Mary with the words, Greetings, you who are highly favoured, the Lord is with you. This greeting made Mary very anxious. She knew her Old Testament scriptures and knew that the words used in the greeting implied that she was like the great individuals of the Old Testament, chosen to serve God and be empowered by him for his work. She must have wondered what on earth was going on. Gabriel then said, Do not be afraid. You have found favour with God. What Mary was about to hear was going to change her life forever. Her plans to marry Joseph, settle down and have a family would be in jeopardy. A difficult road lay ahead. She would find herself an unmarried mother, an outcast. There would be no family around her when the baby was born. She would be in the stables of an inn in Bethlehem. And when the baby was still very young, she would have to flee to Egypt as a refugee. When Gabriel said, do not be afraid, you have found favour with God, he was telling her that whatever the future would bring, God would be with her. He would never leave her or forsake her. He would guide her and protect her. And he would empower her and give her all she needed to do his will. God's favour was nothing that she had earned. It was a gift from him. He had chosen her for this role to be the mother of the Son of God. And he would be with her and equip her. And just as God was with Mary that day and for the rest of her life, so he is with us. Through the gift of his Holy Spirit, we have God's empowering presence living within us, guiding us day by day. And just as Mary found favour with God, so we too can receive God's favour. His favour that brings us salvation, his gift of life, a life in all its fullness, and his favour which will empower 
guide and equip us for the work he has for us to do. I think this year has taught us all that we cannot know what the future brings, but our Lord and Saviour does know and he walks with us and guides us as we go. So as Christmas Day draws near, can I encourage each one of us to take time to listen to God, to listen for his personal message for each one of us, and whatever the future brings, to be assured that God goes with us and will bless us with his favour. As a final prayer, I'd like to suggest that we take this verse and put our own names in it. Do not be afraid. You have found favour with God. Amen. The hymn I've chosen for today is a carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem. And it was the words in verses three and four which really leapt out to me. How silently, how silently, the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. And in verse four, the final words, O come to us, abide with us our Lord Emmanuel.